uh, the MIPI automotive workshop on automotive. Uh, we tend to run other, you know, DevCon events and more general across the wide span of MIPI specifications. But today we're just going to focus on automotive. Uh, so welcome. And I'll just give a few opening uh, introductory remarks. Uh, my name is Peter Lefkin, Executive Director uh, of MIPI Alliance, as Derv mentioned. Um, and I just want to, for those, I think many of you are probably familiar with MIPI, but I just want to put things in perspective in terms of where we are, where we've come from, and where we are today. Um, MIPI Alliance was formed back in 2003, so we're really approaching our 20th anniversary next year. Um, and we were formed to standardize camera and display interfaces. You see some of those phones. Uh, hopefully you're not using them today, but uh, maybe on your shelf like they are on mine. And uh, today what you'll see is that MIPI Alliance has developed more than 50 specifications covering a full range of interface applications needed for mobile devices. And we're proud to say that there's at least one, if not more, MIPI specifications in every smartphone today. Um, over that same period, um, the past 20 years, MIPI's ecosystem has evolved uh, as well. Um, MIPI was really formed by the application processor developers, the device OEMs, um, semiconductor companies. That was really the heart of the, the founding group uh, for MIPI Alliance. And today what we found, and you know, as MIPI specifications were adopted in the market uh, early on with camera uh, and display, what we saw is that test equipment companies, test labs, uh, IP and VIP providers, um, software providers, device OEMs, consumer electronic companies, as well as today, you know, automotive OEMs and tier one suppliers are MIPI members and joining MIPI members in uh, to develop applications and, and services that, you know, many of the founders could never first uh, imagine. And so today we have over 450 member, 15 members um, representing over 30 countries and half of our membership, 48% has indicated that they're, you know, active in the motive, automotive sector. Um, so being in automotive is not aspirational for MIPI. It, it, it's been happening for uh, a long time. MIPI specifications, um, you know, predominantly uh, first and foremost uh, for mobile, and you can see on the left side uh, the mobile system diagram. Uh, we won't have time to go into that today, uh, but as mobile has evolved, as mobile has influenced other industries, uh, you now see MIPI specifications in a wide range of uh, industries like automotive we're talking about today, IoT, medical, uh, the aviation industry, consumer electronics and heads up displays, as well as industrial. And, uh, you know, I get surprised on a, a weekly, you know, certainly biweekly basis of new members who are joining. When I go to look at the companies, uh, they're, they're often from unique uh, sectors of the industry. And one of the important things about MIPI that has evolved over time, but today our uh, usage rights are granted to members uh, via the membership agreement on a royalty free uh, basis uh, for all implementations, whether it's mobile or uh, non-mobile uh, applications. This may be a, a little bit of a, 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 you know, hard to see actually in the display, but that, that's a good thing, I think. Um, what you see is a large number of MIPI members in automotive. Um, and, you know, I won't go through all of those. I think a lot of those will be recognizable. Uh, some maybe not, um, but those are the you know members that I indicated earlier who are active in automotive. You'll see uh, OEMs, uh, newer OEMs as well, uh, doing a lot of autonomous driving. Uh, you'll see tier ones, and you'll see a number of suppliers to the automotive industry as well. Uh, we're, we're very proud of this, and we see this growing over time as well. You know, as you can imagine, from 2003 forward, um, we've really uh, operated within the range and, and sort of the evolution of uh, the Gs, or, you know, 2G, 3G, 4G, all of the mobile, and 5G, all of the mobile, um, you know, uh, platforms. And what you can see over that time is, you know, back in 2000, uh, 
you know, be, a little bit before 2000, the first camera phone. Uh, I indicated we might be lines formed in 2003. Um, and it really goes back to 2010 um, when you start seeing some cameras uh, in automotive and you start seeing uh, some displays as well. And so what you're seeing is that, you know, our camera and display protocols, which were actually uh, the first protocols and specs that were developed by MIPI have really evolved over time to meet the needs of both mobile um, automotive and, you know, other vision uh, and imaging applications. Um, MIPI established an automotive working group uh, around 2017, 2018. Um, and we've evolved our specifications since then, gaining many requirements that are coming directly from automotive and being reflected in our specifications that are under development today. Here I'll touch on uh, very lightly because, you know, we have a, a good panel of uh, uh, MIPI representatives who are active in the development of these specifications. So I won't go into detail on these, but you can see MIPI and automotive really represents, um, you know, a wide range of specifications. It's not just about the physical layer uh, for MIPI. Uh, it's also about camera and display. Uh, CFI, DFI, uh, AFI, uh, you'll see storage for, uh, with JEDEC UFS, with MFI and Unipro, RF front end, uh, RF control protocol with RFFE, and I3C, we, we expect to see as a control and data bus uh, interface within the car as well. Um, we found that, you know, as with everything else, MIPI members are leveraging their investments in mobile in their you know, various applications and extending them uh, to automotive. And, you know, with our uh, long reach FI, AFI, uh, you can now, uh, you know, natively connect camera uh, as well as display and, and, you know, move data within the car over longer distances. And certainly the, the presenters today will go into that further. Um, with that, uh, as Dervla mentioned, we have uh, today moderator James Guell, who's chair of the MIPI Technical Steering Group and co-vice chair of the, the MIPI Display Group. Hey, James. And uh, we'll, we'll go through these sessions. I won't spend time to go through the agenda today, uh, right now. Uh, you can see that. I, I think one of the areas that you'll see at the end of the, the session is on security. And I, I think this is one of the more extended presentations that we've given publicly on security. So hopefully you'll stick around for that as well. Um, but with that, why don't I hand that over to uh, just one more little plug uh, here, James, before I hand it over to you. It, there's uh, a number of ways to learn more. Um, we have an introductory guide to MIPI Automotive Certi Solutions. We have a blog. Uh, we also have an automotive mailing list that we target uh, announcements out of MIPI Alliance uh, based on you know, the mass specifications and automotive resources that we may develop. So this is a part of that, um, but there's certainly more uh, that we put out over, over time. So with that, again, thank you for attending.